So one story that um, I like to tell is about a man that uh, Hope House Foundation supported, and he was a, a very large man, um, probably over 350 pounds, and he did not like hygiene stuff. I mean, he didn't like to bathe. He didn't like to brush his teeth. I mean, we never even mentioned flossing. Um, and so we were very concentrated on he had to do the hygiene. In fact, nothing else mattered. We're not going to teach you how to use that microwave until you bathe, because that's first, right? That's first things first. And we probably spent about mm, half a million dollars over, I don't know, six year period um, with that basic approach, that basic philosophy, hassle, nag, and document. He'd go to the day center, the day center would call up and say, uh, Willie doesn't smell, work ready today. We'd have to get in the car, drive to go pick him up, hassle, nag, document, hassle, nag, document, usually by I don't know, eight or nine o'clock at night, we could get him in the shower. But of course, you're all clean, nowhere to go, <laughs> you know? So it, it made no sense. But I think in this industry, we do a lot of those things over and over again. Things that we know don't make sense, but we continue to do. And what we need is a disruptor. And this disruptor, her name was uh, Jan. And she said, you know, I want to support him, but I don't want to do any of this hygiene stuff. I don't even want to mention it. And she said this to me, and I said, well, you know, I don't think that's going to work because, uh, you know, the day center is going to call you up. And what are you going to say when they said he, does, he doesn't smell work ready? Are you going to say we're not doing anything? Because I'll tell you what they'll say. We never thought you were anyway. You know, I mean that incredible partnership. Um, but she really insisted. And um, he lived in an area, it's a very big port town. And within the first week, uh, we were having a big, well, I call them slap down meetings, but I think what they're known as is, um, oh, interdisciplinary meetings. And, um, the day people were there, the behavioral consultant, I mean, all of the, you know, all of those folks. And then, of course, the person that we're talking about, he's got his back to us. He's not even speaking at it. And Jan is there. So we go on and on about how we're going to make sure he's clean and blah, blah, blah. And then uh, Willie just pipes up and says, uh, I quit. You quit what? I quit this, I quit all of you, I quit you. So Jan and him leave and unbeknownst to me, I mean, I didn't know where they were going other than we were just all sitting there. We're like, well, now what? Um, and she took him down to the docks where she helped him that day secure a job as a dock worker where everybody smelled like him. Um, only thing he was missing was the union tattoo. He had it within a month. Uh, and he became this, uh, he took this journey within four hours of being this problem client <laughs> to a hero uh, because that guy could lift those pallets all day long. And it was impressive. And because we had kept his life full of nothing, he was available all the time. It didn't really matter when the ship came in. Yep, he's free. And he started making overtime pay and doubled uh, Jan's salary within six months. He still works there. He's had three promotions. He had support that was daily. I don't recall exactly how many hours per week to now a couple of hours per month. And that's only when we can catch him home. And that's only when he gets his paycheck and he's into some investing now. The people he hangs out with are dock workers. Now, I don't know if you hang out with dock workers. Um, it's been years for me. Um, but they, you want to talk about a circle of support. That's a circle, that's the kind of circle of support. So 
I guess he'd been in the job about five years and uh, Hector was supporting him. Jan had moved on. And Hector announced at this big agency-wide meeting, you're not going to believe this, but Willie joined Weight Watchers and has lost a hundred pounds. Oh, we're whoop whooping, we're clapping, yay, all right. And I said in front of, you know, a couple hundred staff people, what did we do? Let's, let's share, what did we do? He goes, oh, no, yeah, I wish it was us, it wasn't. Um, you know that dive bar down at the end of Redgate that uh, all the dock workers hang out at? I go, yeah, yeah I've, I've been there long time ago. Um, he goes, well, Wanda with the gold tooth there, she's a waitress. I go, yeah, 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 okay. She just walked by him one night and said, you know, you'd be kind of cute if you dropped some of that weight. I said, you are kidding me. Wanda with the gold tooth. Hector goes, yeah. Motivation, it's a funny thing. And it is a funny thing. But it's outside these agencies, not inside them.